Welcome to the Two Guys and a Cooler channel. My name is Eric. Often people ask, hey, where'd you get that mold? Or where can I get one of those molds? And so what I want to do is I just want to highlight the molds that we use and where we got them and answer perhaps any questions. So the first mold that we use is an 18 inch acrylic soap mold. This particular mold is really customizable. That's the cool thing about this Etsy store, custom craft tools is that you can pick the size, the dimensions that you want based off of the kind of soap that you want to make. A lot of people ask, is it hard to unmold your soap? And let me show you. All I'm doing now is I'm loosening three thumb screws, removing those little bits, and let me show you how easy it is to take this particular mold apart. Now what we normally do is right before we unmold, we'll pop it in the freezer for about 45 minutes or an hour, and this soap just literally pops right off. That bottom piece just slides right off of the bottom of the soap and it leaves your edges crisp and clean, which I think is something that we're all looking for when it comes to making soap. This is incredibly easy to take apart and it's even easier to put back together. All the pieces of this soap mold fit perfectly like a puzzle. And the only thing that I can come up with when describing the quality of this soap mold is skillful precision. Every single cut was precisely made to where there's nothing bigger, loose or smaller and it all fits perfectly together, which is really neat. I really like the transparent aspect of this particular mold because it allows me to see what I'm doing when I'm making some of my particular landscape design soaps. One of the neat things that I also really liked about dealing with Alex over at his Etsy store, Custom Craft Tools, was that a couple days after I placed my order, that I wanted to add some stuff. And you know, most stores, they don't allow you to add anything or you have to put in a separate order or it's very complicated. I told them I wanted a divider and Alex's words to me were no problem. I, th I think he told me that more than anything in this particular process. And this is what he sent me. This is the divider. So I put the dividers on the edges of the 18 inch mold and it split the loaf into three equal portions. And then all I had to do was flip those dividers around just like that. And now I've got a mold that is split into four equal portions. Can anyone say modify Taiwan swirl? That's what I'm talking about. And so now what I've got is like limitless creative ideas for these molds. Now, the second mold that I got, I chose the exact same dimensions. I wanted two molds exactly the same, two and a half by three by 18, but it's a different material. It comes at a more economical price point. And that's what I really enjoyed about uh, custom craft tools was that there was price points for everything. You know, if I wanted my mold to be longer, shorter, if I wanted it to be taller, it was all customizable. Matter of fact, if I wanted something completely unique and totally different that wasn't on his site, all I had to do was send him an email and there's a good chance he could have made it. Now, let me show you this particular mold. Originally, this mold was only supposed to be as tall as those dividers. This was an 18 bar mold. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to have something that I could pour a lot of batter in at the same time without having an additional mold. And so the original design for this particular mold was this beautiful, fat, gorgeous, hefty bars of soap. And what I asked Alex to do was to raise the walls four inches. This is the whole custom part of his Etsy store. He said once again, no problem, but he also included these plastic liners so that I didn't have those unsightly lines in those edges of my soap. And so what ended up happening is now that 18 bar soap mold turned into a mold that I can put about 10 pounds of batter in so that I can cut a bunch of loaves and a bunch of that. I think, I think I can get 59 one inch bars of soap out of this particular mold. And that's kind of what it looked like. So what I did here was this like dancing funnel, you know, combination of, anyway, I'll post a video on that later, but you get the idea. This I also got the top for. And, um, and then let's move on to the fourth and final mold. This particular mold is a 12 inch tall, three and a half inch wide cylindrical mold that is bold. The three and a half inch diameter of this bar of soap creates a canvas for some incredibly amazing artistic design. It comes with two cylindrical pipes inside. One is a little thinner and you wanna be careful because that one's a little more delicate and the other one is a little bit wider. And so you can just let your imagination go absolutely crazy with this particular soap mold. And in some future videos, I'm gonna show you two really cool hacks for this soap mold that expanded the opportunity of creative design. Inside this soap mold is a really thin plastic lining and this aids in the unmolding of this particular soap. And like I said, future video, you'll see the whole process, which is really cool. Let me show you how easy it is to take this thing apart. The three thumb screws at the very top, all you do is just barely loosen them 
and those pieces come right off. That center piece just literally pops right out of the middle and now you have your bar of soap. Alex did include this one particular piece of plastic that was a press that you could stick at the very bottom of that and push your bar out, which makes it come out super easy. Now to put it all back together, you do everything in reverse. Just put those three metal bars right back into place, screw them in tightly, and now you have your mold ready for business. You can set it to the side. And what you see right there on the left-hand side is the, uh, is the lid for this particular mold. So when you're done and you have your soap in it, you can cover it right up. After playing with these molds for some time, I, I gotta say I really appreciate the transparent nature of the acrylic molds. Not only do they make incredible bars of soap, but they allow me to really kind of look at what I'm doing as I'm doing it. There you have it. Those are the molds that we use. If you have any questions or you need any other information about it, leave them in the comments section below if you want to check out those molds or if you want to contact the store and give them your concept of a custom mold that you want to have built a link to their Etsy store will be provided and you can contact them through that link I think it's important for you to know that I was not paid to make this video they are not a sponsor of our channel I'm just really appreciative because they make high quality mold for someone who wants to make a high quality bar so can't ask for a whole lot more than that thanks for checking us out if you're new here click that subscribe and notification bell be sure to stick around. We'll see you in the next video.